Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Kim. As you can see today, I'm going to unbox all of these goodies for my next baby girl. And a lot of these came from family and friends who purchased from our Amazon registry. And actually, a uh, quite number of them also came from my husband's co-workers who hosted a baby shower for him. I know, I can't believe it. I was so shocked when my husband came home with all these gifts from his co-workers and he was telling me how they set up like a like a party in their workplace. They had um, all these gifts and he was unwrapping it as if he was the pregnant woman and <laughs> It was it was so touching, you know, so yeah, let's get into this before anything else I would like to thank everyone who gave these gifts for us. You guys know who you are I really really appreciate you and yeah, I'm excited So this is unboxed already because my husband unboxed these gifts when they hosted a baby shower for him So it's a car baby monitor. I was surprised. I never knew about car baby monitors monitors before. I just know about the regular baby monitors that you put in the nursery. But this is very interesting because instead of having those mirrors in the car where usually when it gets hit by the sun, it's like a fire hazard. This one, there's a camera and there's also a monitor that you can attach to your car. So this is the set of newborn arrival gift set from Mustela. It has a shampooing mousse, cleansing water, body lotion, diaper rash cream, and cleansing gel for the hair and body. So what I used from Mustela is the body lotion and it worked really well for my daughter. So hopefully with a newborn, this will also work well. Thank you. Ooh. So actually, I got this myself. Some of the items that I bought from the registry because they give 15% off on selected items. Also, this little contraption here is very useful. I know that I'm gonna buy a lot of stuff for the baby and on Prime Day, so I decided to invest on this. It's like a slicer thingy. I'm gonna link it below as well. So it's for zero to three months. I noticed that I don't have a lot of zero to three month onesies for my first daughter that I could pass down for my second because she was born in the fall winter months. This baby is a summer baby. So that's why I'm getting her more of the clothes that's good for summer. It's so small. <laughs> it's so small. Look at that. Oh, hmm. this one from her auntie and uncle in the Philippines. I don't know if you can see it from here, but you basically either attach it on the car seat or a stroller and it's supposed to distract the baby, you know, with this little contraption. So it has color. It's not just beige, but I love it. I love the color palette. Thank you. It's the Dr. Brown's Bottle Warmer. This one also has a built-in small parts sterilizer such as pacifiers or the nipple for the bottle. Oh, excuse me, my gas. Anyways, so it warms the bottle for as little as 80 seconds. To be honest, I have been clueless about bottle warmers or anything to do with bottles because I didn't bottle feed my first daughter. She was breastfed all the way up to two years and beyond. <laughs> so we have not used a bottle with her, but I'm hoping that I'll be able to do like a 50-50 with our second baby, 50% bottle feed and 50% uh, breastfeeding, like direct latch. But either way, I'm gonna give her my breast milk because this mama needs a break. That's like one thing that I didn't really regret, but I was hoping that I did somehow different with my first one because she would not latch in any kind of bottle that I gave her. So this one, I'm gonna show you how this looks like. It's my first time seeing a bottle warmer, to be honest, in person. This is the gift from my husband's colleagues. Thank you, ladies. 
the Dreft soap. So this is also what I used with my newborn back then and it really worked for us. Um, a lot of people are not really a fan of Dreft products but for us it worked really well. So we're also going to get the Tommy TP pacifiers. I've heard a lot of good reviews on this. My daughter didn't like uh, pacifiers because again, she was just exclusively breastfeeding. But we're hoping that this will work on baby number two. We have a brand new Sophie. Because I've read that for every baby, you need to change either bottles, pacifiers, nipple bottles, and teethers. So my daughter used to use Sophie the Giraffe as her teether, and I just don't want to like pass this on to the next baby. So I'm getting her a new Sophie. So she has her own Sophie. This one is just the perfect size for her to hold on to. And of course, I'm going to clean it. So she also uses it as a teether as well. Teethers again from Frida Baby. I think you can put it in the refrigerator and it's either hot or warm. Chill out gums with four shapes for every teething face. By the way, if you get to see my nails, it's pretty nasty right now because I've been using press on for, I think this has been over two weeks and three of them already popped off. So <laughs> hence the nasty nails. I also got this Dr. Brown's anti-colic bottle. It's supposed to be um, similar to the breast because it has breast like nipples for colicky babies. I didn't buy a bunch of bottles per brand. I only got like one or two bottles per brand just in case something doesn't work. At least I only got one bottle at a time. So this is how it looks like. Another teether from Dr. Brown's. Another Infantino teether. My daughter also had this when she was a baby and she loved this so much. So I'm also getting this for baby number two. More bottles. So one is from Philips. Uh, I mostly got the ones that are synonymous to the nipple. I just got everything that says breastfeeding blah 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 something like that. It's like control pace like breastfeeding. Something like that. So I got those. Um, this one is another anti-colic bottle from Dr. Brown but it's a lot smaller. One of the reasons why I did exclusively breastfeeding with my first baby was because I was just so tired being attached to a wall because the one that I use was from the Medela. It's free for my insurance, but I have to like plug it in every time I have to use it and I just feel like I'm always stuck. Plus I have to clean all the pump parts and the bottles etc. But with this one, since it's wearable, I can like do my chores around the house, play with my toddler while I'm pumping because mamas, we're all about multitasking, right? Thank you. <laughs> My enthusiasm is literally making me out of breath. Okay. Yee! I'm just gonna link it below, but there are a lot of good reviews about this as well. So this is the wearable breast pump. So you have a place here to charge it. You just attach it on your uh, breast like that and it'll just, you know, pump out the milk and then it fills it up. So happy. <laughs> so happy. I'm a buzz. <laughs> this one is um, Infino. That's the name of the brand. But this is basically good for tummy time when your child is, I don't know, like with my first baby, I already did tummy time even though she was like a few days old. She's really good at it. Her neck strength is really, really strong. <laughs> I think you fill it up with water, right? Because I haven't used this before, but this one, oh yeah, yeah, I think you fill it up with water and then it's just good for tummy time. So it's just a flat mat and then your baby would just lay on her belly on top of this mat. It's a boring product but it worked for us. It's coconut oil. So instead of using lotions back then with 
baby girl number one. I used coconut oil when she was a newborn. It really worked for her. So we're gonna see. We're just gonna experiment on like the lotions, the coconut oil, what would work for baby. And yeah, at least we have this around. If it doesn't work for her, then we're just gonna use that to cook. Win-win. <laughs> I got like 50 pieces of baby hangers because I have two girls. They're gonna go through a lot of clothes. Right now, our daughter has the most number of clothes in this household. And she's currently using almost all of her hangers. So with baby number two, I just got her more hangers. And I like this gray felt hangers because everything just looks so organized and cohesive if the hangers just look the same. Plus with these, it just doesn't fall off easily because I feel like the felt is just helping with the grip of the clothes. If you haven't tried felt hangers before, go for it. Um, my husband and I use felt hangers too for our own clothes. Our daughter is using it as well and yeah, it works well for our clothes. It's very thin so it doesn't occupy too much space and it doesn't break easily like those plastic hangers. It's the Tush Baby! I have been eyeing on this since our first kid but the thing is I find it that it's a bit expensive you know to buy something like a carrier it's it's like a carrier but in a belt bag form I've seen this on Shark Tank that's how I knew about this product and when I saw it I'm like Dang, that's a genius product someone also bought this off of the registry you, you know who you are. <laughs> so it's basically like this. It's a belt bag. So you can put a lot of stuff here. There's a lot of storage. You can even fit some diapers in here. So you have to wear it high and tight above your hips. And you're just gonna place your baby over here. This is good if the baby is like basically could pull their head up, you know. This is a very useful product and I'm so excited to use this Tush Baby. <laughs> Thank you again. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so, 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 so happy. I feel like my baby is just so loved. It's the Sensitive Wipes from Pampers. I love this. This is what we've been using up to now. So I also put this on the registry, you know, putting some practical stuff in there as well. It's onesies! We're almost done, you guys, don't worry. Some of the current onesies that, excuse me, that I have there from baby number one is the button onesies, which I do not recommend. <laughs> so that's why I got more onesies for baby two, and it's these zipper onesies. Bless you! So it's this. So now I'm just gonna buy a lot of zipper, um, not onesies, sorry, sleepers. They call this sleepers. So what I like about this is that it's zipped, it's, it has a zipper and it's already footed so you don't have to worry about socks. We also have this. This is so pretty. This is so girly, I love it. So here is a very summer look for a baby girl. I love the colors. I wish it comes with adult version of this. Oh, I'm not gonna open it yet. Okay, I'll open it. Come on, <laughs> I'm gonna open it. <laughs> let me see. Oh, let me just come near you guys. <clears throat> we have several of these. One, two, three, four, five washcloths. And a hooded towel. Ooh, so precious. It's a unicorn. So it basically has a fork, a spoon, a square bowl, and a cup. We do baby led weaning, so this is actually perfect. We started doing baby led weaning with um, baby girl number one when she was around six months and she's a really good eater now She's two and a half years old. I mean there are times that she would like don't want to eat 
something, but for the most part, she's a really good eater for her age. So here, it's a little bib for baby girl. You know, bibs are very important because they have a lot of spit ups and you just have to keep on wiping them or drool. So it's very useful to have a lot of bibs. Also a baby hat, look at this, and a little heart. And then the sweetie strap pacifier clip. So it's made out of silicone. So you know how pacifiers always get lost? This is a very useful item. And another baby girl dress. Mm, look at that. I love it. I, I really love it. <laughs> Look at this. This is so stylish. I love it so much. And also more bibs. I have a baby hat. They have mittens. A couple of mittens. A couple of bows and ribbons. And another set of mittens. And look at here. It's so cute. And look, there's a little ladybug at the back. How pretty. You know, when we go out and I want her to look bougie and stylish, um, it's it's buttoned down. <laughs> but it's it's like, a, it's a romper. And what I like about this is that you can also open the bottom part here. So, you know, you don't have to remove the whole clothes. Um, if you're gonna do diaper changes, you just open the bottom part, change the diaper and close it back again. I just woke up from a nap with my toddler and I knew I was gonna forget something so I'm gonna show it to you guys. So this is the Frida Baby Derma Frida. It's basically something to remove the cradle cap. I haven't had any experience with that with my first baby but just in case my second baby will have it, at least we have this one. The next item is this fold away um, baby bathtub. So with my first kid, we use the Angel Care and uh, one of my husband's uh, colleagues gifted us this one and it's actually very different from the Angel Care but we'll see what baby girl would like or what would work for us this time around if it's the Angel Care or this one. But yeah, it's nice to have options. This came a few days after I filmed the video and it's from my husband's boss. He gave us the Mamaru swing and I love it so much. And look at what they did. They also gave us a box of newborn diapers and they turned it into like a, a two, three tier cake or something. And this is like so much effort. It looks like our wedding cake to be honest. But isn't it so cute? Look at this. This is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give this a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content similar to this. Also, I want to say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you again to everyone who gave us all these presents and gifts and showing us so much love for our baby. Thank you so much and I hope to meet you guys soon after giving birth, <laughs> hopefully. So see you, God bless, bye.